Good morning, everyone. Today, uh, I am going to go pick up my girlfriend, and we are going to a place called Canyon Crawlers RC. It's in Joliet, Illinois, and it is a entire facility built for rock crawling. Now, it's mostly geared towards one-tenth scales, but obviously, we are using the one-eighteenth TRX-4Ms today. I did take the camper back off of the K10 just so it actually can crawl for a little bit. As soon as we're done, camper back is going back on because I love it so much. I might do some modifications before then. I might try to add some windows in there. I might paint the bed liner black for a little bit more realism. Um, but yeah, so this is a completely stock high trail. Uh, well, it has an interior, a 3D printed interior, but stock servo, which I don't think is going to make it through the day. So that's why I stopped by my local hobby store the other day and picked up one of these. I'm sure we're probably gonna have to put that in today um, because all the TRX 4M servos go bad pretty quickly. Um, and then we have my Bronco. So this is my more built rig, um, which I just noticed these uh, fenders are starting to come off. Um, Injora wheels and tires, uh, Injora 59 millimeter shocks. Why are my windshield wipers going? It's not even raining. Besides the point, this also has the Traxxas crawler gears and it has an Enjora purple 48 turn motor. Um, so this is going to be the more modified of the two. We're probably gonna be switching off just to see which one's more fun. Gonna let her drive the Bronco for a little bit, gonna let her drive the K10 for a little bit, switch off. Um, this is only gonna be her second time crawling, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but we'll also see how this facility is. It, maybe it's super cool, maybe it's super lame. I have no idea, we've never been before. Um, so that's the plan for the day. Gonna be a lot of rock crawling, and then at the very end, I'll sort of give my final thoughts on the uh, Canyon RC place. But let's go pick her up. Oh, actually, you know what I wanted to say? Be careful plugging your TRX 4M batteries into your car. This is my Alfa Romeo, and I plugged in the TRX 4M battery, and this, my phone charging, started freaking out. It was on, off, on, off, on, off, flashing, and the battery was charging, then not charging, then charging, then not charging. So just be careful if you do plug your batteries into your car. Um, it seems to pull a lot of power. It might just be an Alfa Romeo issue, which it would not be the first. So just a word of the wise, but let's go crawling. I was gonna try not to put that one in the water just because sometimes it gets rusty, but it'll try not to fall in. I'm not gonna do it on purpose. If you do, that's okay. I'm going upstairs. I've already fallen over twice. Really? <laughs> yes. It's gonna be a long day. <laughs> Oh, there's actual sand over here. Really? Yeah. yeah I, guess I should get a little, a little tour. Oh, 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 you're going up. You made it up. Yes. See, that's without the camper back. Oh. Oh. oh well. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it cheating if I just put it back up up here? Do I have to start all the way down there? No, you could. I mean, you could put it wherever. We're not doing competition. Oh, okay. Getting up to the holes a little bit. <laughs> it's kind of difficult. I like this is like almost like smooth concrete, but I don't think it's concrete. Oh. Oh. Alright, I guess I'm going backwards. Alright. Alright. <laughs> 
Oh, like a, these crawler gears are nuts. Yeah. Although, am I too tall? Oh, I'm too tall. No, really? Yeah. Can you take off the cooler? I'll just squeeze it by. There we go. I'm getting caught. I think this course is made for 124th scale, okay. which is smaller than this. Yeah. We're 118th. You want to take them off the... No, it's okay. That's where I'm going. I'm going to try to go through to up here and go through the wall. We're going to try it. Get my front two wheels in there. Hey. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh! I am thoroughly impressed. <laughs> I'm so shocked. I did not think it was gonna be able to I didn't even think you'd get past here. <laughs> Alright, you, you wanna do it? Sure, I'll try it. You want me to record you? Sure. Wait, you started here? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did that way easier than me. Yeah. Sorry. I have no idea. You like really hug. I yeah. You gotta get. You gotta get real close. Yeah, that's where I was gonna go. I was like, I wanna go in the hole. <laughs> oh, I got down there. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder if there's a way to turn the water on. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this tire is really not helping. You gonna put on your spare? <laughs> I think I might just take it off. Take off a tire? The no, this this rear tire oh, is what this, I'm talking about. I yeah. thought you meant like one of the four. No. <laughs> I was like, I don't think that would work really well. Ah, you wanna try it? Sure. You can maybe prop it up on that wooden peg. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Massive increase, but I couldn't do it. hitting a wall.
go up it backwards. I'm gonna go. All right, I'm pretty stuck. Oh, I think we're through. They said it was the easy part. Oh. It's the dismount that's hard because it's so. I think I have to go this way or else I'll roll. I'll roll anyway. <laughs> School road is the name of the arch. It says Maple Grove Book Club. Oh, Maple Grove. Oh, I'm not Can you dismount without, without rolling? Without falling over? Yeah. Doubt it. Oh. oh. Give it some throttle. There you go. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, I'm back on my feet. Nice. Might be taking a swim. <laughs> Maybe if I go out this way. Oh, yeah, okay. Where are you headed? Up and over. I like this, whatever this material is.
terrible drop. Dang, this is tough. <laughs> right, we could try to go up where he is. thinking if we can go up and around, yeah. maybe try to go up by the water tower. Following you. Oh, it's a little cooler. I'm just gonna keep it in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I uh I went up this part. Okay. So I like went halfway up and then around here. Yeah, there you go. Oh. There you go. <laughs> you might have to throttle it up. Yep. Throttle 
side of it. You need another boost. Oh no, you got it. supposed to go up there? <laughs> I don't know, oh, it's boy. kind of a dead end. I don't think I can do that. Oh. Okay. I don't know about this part. Oh. You gotta go from over here. Oh, nope. Yeah. It's still really good. Rusty doesn't. 
I know it's going to bounce as soon as I can hear them. Alright. Okay. Good to guess. Yeah. Not what I thought would break today, if I'm honest. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I still drive around You could try in front wheel drive. But I was like, why isn't that thing crawling good enough? <laughs> it's literally front wheel, the, the drive I shaft is just over out. and I was like, what is that? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I don't know where to really go from here. Yeah. Just living in a 10 scale world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's very clear now that you are only two wheel drive. My friend, you are now no wheel drive. What? I literally didn't even do anything. With the gas? Yeah. <laughs> you are no wheel drive. <laughs> it's so bad. I don't know what I did. It's okay. It's not like I, I was demolishing the red one. I, I, and you know what? I thought this one would break. It did not. All those screws are holy cow. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> Crawler Canyon was an absolute blast. It was also just really fun watching and taking a look at everyone's rigs. It got really, really crowded, so we decided to call it a day. Also, a little sad that the Bronco broke both of its drive shafts, but I guess to be expected, it does have the crawler gears with the Enjora motor. I think that might have just been too much for the plastic drive shafts, so I assure you by the time this video is uploaded, I have already ordered metal drive shafts. But overall, this place is awesome. I'd highly recommend it, especially if you have a 10 scale. There's so much more to do if you have a 10 scale, but if you have a 124th or 118th, there's still stuff for you to do. We had plenty of fun. We were there for probably about an hour and a half, um, and we could have definitely stayed longer, done more stuff, but it was just getting so crowded, and we already had one truck broken, so we called it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you in the next Crawler Chronicles.